And tonight we're hearing from the Boynton Beach Police Chief as the department and the city mourn the loss of a police officer who died in a crash while off duty. 38 year old Dennis Castro served in the Boynton Beach Police Department for 14 years and tonight a memorial is growing at the site of the deadly crash. Our Steve King joins us live on North Lake Boulevard in West Palm Beach and Steve, what details can you tell us about that crash and what the police chief is now saying? Jade, well, this is where investigators say that Dennis Castro lost control of his SUV, slamming into a utility pole. And now a memorial is being set up where he died. This American flag is set up. He was also a member of the U.S. Marine Corps. And then these flowers placed by this tree, you can see the charred ground in the area where Castro's vehicle caught fire after it crashed into that pole early yesterday morning. Now, this shows how much the community is supporting Castro and his family during this time. The 38 year old husband and father of two had served with the Boynton Beach Police Department for 14 years. He was a member of the SWAT team, DUI task force, and was a traffic homicide investigator, earning many accolades along the way. Now, Chief of Police Joe DiGiulio says Castro was an excellent leader who also demonstrated compassion as a police officer. DiGiulio says Castro was passionate about victim advocacy and always got the job done. The chief considers Dennis Castro a friend. It, it hurts because he was, you know, he, he didn't just work for me. He was a friend of mine, you know, and um, I've seen him grow up and, and become, you know, a great, a great lead, leader, a great servant leader, um, well respected in, in the uh, department. And, and he was doing great things. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, it's, it's tough. Now, the Boynton Beach Police Department has mental health counselors available to all of its staff members. And for more reaction from law enforcement and city leaders, you can visit our website, WPBF.com. Reporting live in West Palm Beach, Steve King, WPBF 25 News.